One thing, from all the somewhat diffuse information, does remain clear. The collision of the van and the explosion. The one was the cause of the other. And the government agencies in this case have not been unwilling to provide evidence, but too little seems to have been known to point our thinking positively in one direction or another. The driver of the vehicle, Meninatoa, had been a student in this country for two and a half years. He had been known to be a political activist, but, as far as we know, had no record of violence. Nor had he any direct connection with any terrorist organization. And nothing is known about his associate in the vehicle, and he remains unidentified. Your investigations, Mr. Cowley, have not led us to any further evidence to confirm or clarify the intentions of these men? No, sir. No further evidence. And nothing you gentlemen wish to add? Then, in the circumstances, I have no alternative but to record a verdict of... Death by misadventure. Play around with bombs, you get blown up. Cynic. Pragmatist. I must look that up. Get yeah, after you've had a drink, mate. No, I'm away. I've got one on the corner. i got some chores to do. I'll take advantage of the spare time. Look, the job's blown up in our faces. Those two kids blew themselves up rather than knock the porter over. I'll see you. Mr. Carling, a few moments of your time. A matter you can help me with. All right. OK, Murphy. <laughs> You have adequate protection, Colonel. You have round the clock protection. A one man? A bodyguard? In my country, a man of my rank would be screened completely from any possible risk of attack. You are not in your country, Colonel Linfo. No. I am your guest. I am in your country. You invited me here. No, sir. You were permitted to enter as a visitor to receive medical treatment. Now completed satisfactorily, I hope. That bomb was meant for me. You know it. There was no one else in the hotel they could have been interested in. If they were interested in the hotel, and not simply trying to shake off my men who were following them. Why? Information, Colonel. Two years ago, the government I served was a popular one. Now, hooligans run my country. Or do you approve of what is going on there? I am not a politician, Colonel Linfo. We have all been branded murderers. We are in exile, or we are dead. I am from a line of princes. I am not afraid to die, but not wastefully. If I was still a minister of my country, you would be giving me real protection, day and night. I want that now, and your government... No, Colonel, you listen. My government accepted your presence here, despite warnings as to what might happen if they did so. Because, Colonel, we will not be dictated to. Certainly not by blackmailers with bombs in their hands, but we will not let you invade our streets. We've had enough. You want to kill each other, go home and do it, not here. I don't know why they want to kill you, Colonel. I don't know why you would want to kill them. But I 
I'm sure you would if you had them in your hands. The bodies of two young boys had to be stitched together in the mortuary back there before we could hold this inquest this morning. We don't want any more bodies. Yours or mine or any poor young kid, a beggar or tramp or old lady who happens to be passing on the same street. We don't want your war here, Colonel. I'm authorized to tell you that my government is very happy that your treatment has been successful. And we hope that as soon as your medical advisors deem you fit to travel, you will make arrangements to leave. And go where? Your government has many friends in Southeast Asia. I'm sure one of them would afford you the protection you seek. Till then, one of my men will stay with you. And not for your sake, Colonel, but because we prefer to keep peace in our streets. If you'll excuse me. How'd you get in here? away. Cowley. There's trouble at Four Fires flat and he won't answer. Why the devil wasn't I informed? You had already left the minister's office, sir. Right, raise Bodie. We've just located him, sir. Good, out.
Sweat it out and you pour it back. Stay cold. Bodie. Doyle. Ah, that's the main thing, staying cool. Saw my medical report. Slow heartbeat, slow metabolism. It's got to be cool. Sneak to look at yours, though. Very uncool. Hot temperament. Still a good man. The top's worth knowing. You won't fall if they push. Three. Can't afford to give it down. Might make you hesitate. Forget the book. You shoot to kill. He will. Who was it, Ray? Who was it? For Christ's sake, who was it? said about his chances you're off all other assignments any ideas well it's not a regular break-in it's probably a vendetta or something. no no something more random you came straight here with the ambulance so you haven't searched this flat Malone's boys are on to it you Bodie you search it you know the man I'd rather stay here sir and do what there's nothing you can do here come on Gave her the ordinary combination key. It means Doyle didn't set the second locks. Went out to the shops, wasn't expecting anything. Made it simple for them to get in. Then? One, two, male, female. Anyway, the alarm wasn't triggered till they went through the window. Neighbors? Nothing. Silence, obviously. But there is this. A slug from the wall. Origin? Can't tell you yet. I'm not ballistics. Yeah, well, get it to ballistics. We're wasting time! All right, all right. We just dug it out the wall, Bodie. Yeah, OK, sorry. It's just a prelim. There's more work to do yet. Nothing seems to have been touched. If they were looking for something, they knew where it was. But what could he have that they would want? Just his life, perhaps? Yeah, well, they didn't get it. Yeah. Go placidly amidst the noise and haste, Bodie. Hmm? And remember what peace there may be in silence. Do not distress yourself with imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. Be at peace with God, whatever you conceive him to be. In the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. With all its sham, drudgery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Discovered in a graveyard, Baltimore, dated 1692. 
No vendettas, Bodie. No revenge. Whatever happens to Doyle, it was his job. Comes with a job. Oh, yeah. Being a target for some maniac political assassin. Are you presuming, Bodie? I want facts. Stay on it. I'm going back to the hospital. Retracted, please. the left atrium. Long forceps, please. He's got no output. He's fibrillating. Shock him. Everyone off. Come on, man, try. Shock him again. He's in sinus rhythm. He's got an output. He'll make it. Will he? Does he want to? How strong's his will? The strongest. I'm not so sure. He's an idealist. As much as anyone can be, given the job he does. Ballistics ran a make on that bullet. Matches one in Amsterdam six weeks ago. Who? The Italian charge of defair. I don't see how it links with Doyle, though. Maybe this helps. A first bullet just below the heart. Second from the back. As if someone went in to deliver the coup de glace and couldn't. If you were going to deliver the final blow, Bodie, where were you aiming? Back of the head. Precisely, to finish him off. Whoever pulled that trigger didn't have the stomach to carry it through all the way. So up and get out. Self, please. The system's basically dormant, idling. It's doing just enough to keep him alive. But the brain activity... The brain is the first organ truly to die. It sounds a romantic notion, I know. But to me, with a system idling and the brain activity so intense, I think it's as if he's trying to come to a decision. Whether to live or die. Mm. He's done more, seen more, to make him want to throw it all in than almost anybody his age. Then let's hope he's got more reason to want to go on. If you're right. If I'm right. Police career, good. Quite a few run-ins with your superiors. There were reasons. Good reasons, no doubt. You care. The issues in this trade are complex. Tangled. Compassion can be a big step towards solving them. Noble sentiments. Well, I hope I live up to them. A row of graves. That's the bottom line of all your noble sentiments. Lives wasted. Yours too. Why not? Why I was nailed? Because you were careless. No, because I didn't care enough. He's in a very unstable rhythm. Damn it, do something, man. What? You don't want us to get who nailed you. Maybe I was asking for it. You're not even curious to know who it was. Might be after me too, might be after Bodhi, all of us. You want us to die? No. Ah. Clayton McCain seems to settle it down. I'm counting on you to have him stay that way. A doctor, I am. God, I'm not. We're not monitoring any upward cardiac movement. Give me a shot, the slightest change, either way. Yes. 
Oui, certainement. Oui, oui, j'espère aussi. Entendu. Merci. Merci bien. Au revoir. That's the same thing there. Amsterdam, Rome, Berlin. A lot of refugee students, apparently not short of cash. Angry, but so far no violence. They've done a lot of shouting, threatened reprisals on gangsters like Colonel Lin Fo. Yeah, but no one's losing much sleep over it except us. Well, what do we got? Two bullets fired from a gun in Amsterdam, Doyle dying, and we would have Le Tower, which would have stopped all this if we hadn't decided to bring him in too late. And they were my orders, Bodie. We had him pegged in the Big Talk, Big Dreams department. I wanted him to lead us to the dangerous ones if there were any. That was my mistake if it was a mistake, not yours. Well, I wasn't blaming myself. I know what you were doing. You should have put it in writing if you wanted to make anything of it. Statutory 48 hours notice within which to do so is long gone. I hadn't noticed. Let's run through it again. A bomb designed for Lin Fo. What, do you think, sir? No question. I don't believe in coincidences, Brody. Connection, you and Doyle were following Latour. The only one of these we knew of with any sort of M.O. Connection. Charlie. It's our nickname for his mate in the van. Unidentified Caucasian, aged about 28. Logically, Charlie would have to be the bomb maker. Yes, because for the four days we followed Latour, he only met him that once, taken to the hotel. Connection. Bullets from the same gun that killed the Italian shot at in Amsterdam. Connection. The same gun. Not necessarily the same person, unless it was Charlie or a friend of Charlie. Connection. Some of the students were getting ready to do more than talk. They joined the international terrorist Freemasonry who supplied them with expertise. Charlie, bomb, gun. In exchange for what? The continuing revolution, unrest. The breakdown of social stability anywhere. Isn't that what they're really after? Connection. Doyle saw something that threatened them or someone. Not Latoa. He's dead. So is Charlie. Someone you met. Someone who would have recognized Doyle. You were always with Doyle. You saw all the same people. So why him, not me? Unless you're next on the list. So there was someone I didn't actually see. Doyle saw her. Go on. It's in our report. Oh, my mind's not a computer, body. I don't remember every item in every report. Okay, look, we were trailing the van. We followed it halfway across town. There was a lot of traffic. We thinned out, but we had to pull back a bit. Anyway, we trailed it to the lock. That's not for sale. Why not? It's mine. Sorry. Is it very precious? No. Very ordinary. Who's he? He added some Southeast Asian newsletter. Friendly quote. Yeah, what the hell was that? Well, I wanted to buy that. So, so I buy that. Mm -hmm. A couple of hours later, Latour stopped to collect Charlie. That was his first appearance.
As we were driving off, Doyle spotted a girl. Hey. What? A girl. Didn't get a look at her. And Doyle didn't make any more of it. Turning in. After that, it was all go. And he just left it to that? Well, he didn't make much of it, you know, seen a summer before, that kind of thing. And Charlie, you turned his place over? It's in the report. Oh, come on, Bodie. I know you're tired, I know you're concerned about Doyle, but I want to hear it all. And I want to hear it from you. Just what did the two of you get up to? After we moved off from the Charlie pickup, we put a low-key surround on the place. Looks like a rumor over a house. Bed and breakfast. Front and back observation, but don't repeat. Don't move in. Four, five out. When we got clear of the bomb job, we went straight back there. Paid for a week, stayed for the week. I didn't see him go, but he uh, left his key. It uh, hasn't been done yet. The uh, girl's off sick. Don't worry, we weren't thinking of renting it. Fuse wire. What a surprise. Did you put this in here? No. What is it? Chinese or something? Yeah, something like that. Guess who? What's happened to the tower? Didn't I answer questions, so he blew himself up. What? An hour after we left you. Blew himself? You killed him. We were following him. You were hounding him. It was either him or a lot of other people. He didn't have to run. Why did he come to you? Yeah, just before he picked up Charlie. The bomb maker, who also read your newspaper. We found this in his room. You had an argument with Latawa. We saw you. Now, what was that about? What did he want from you? He asked me to pass on a message to the police. Warn the people to get out of the hotel. Did you? I thought I persuaded him not to. Yeah, well, you didn't. Intellectually. I do not condone terrorism. And emotionally? The men they wanted to kill were butchers. Who was Charlie? I do not know this Charlie. And if you did, you'd grow old and die before you told us, right? Let us say I might grow old and die trying to decide whether to act intellectually or emotionally. Inscrutable bastard. Yeah, full-blooded pacifist, mate. I wonder what he'd say if he saw someone raping his sister. More junk? No, I just admired a pair of almond eyes. We turned over La Tower's place, nothing. Let me report it back to you. Cowley. All right, thank you. We're coming over. And Doyle never referred to the girl he'd seen at Charlie's place again? No. Was Doyle giving up on the case? Why? He's taking a downward turn. That strong will you say he has doesn't seem to be working. It will. The surgeon doesn't think he's trying. Well, I know what he means. Give Ray half a chance. He'd blame himself for the invention of gunpowder. Have you ever thought of getting out? Yeah, every time I take the physical. Still, what else would I do? What would you do? I haven't thought that far, sir. This job doesn't get easier. No, it's no wonder with all the sophisticated weaponry they've got, and they're supposed to stop them. Mind you, once you start wondering why, I suppose that's the time to get out. Give me your report. I came in. Groceries. Milk. Curtains are still drawn. There's somebody there. How did you get in here? Who is it? I can't see her clearly. Her? It's a woman. We'll go through the fogs. No. The face, see the face. No! Yes! 
without even thinking about it? You can think about it, as long as you do it. He's weakening again. His output's falling off. Oh, damn. I thought we'd beaten him. Let's try a dopamine infusion. She must have been one of them. Saw the explosion. Blames us. And they had a bomb. They were going to use it. She was one of them. She was responsible. No. Think about it. Think of all the lives your action saved. How many people are alive because of your action? Those people want you well again, doing your job. Doing my job in this chaos? Give me one good reason. You have a contract. I can break it. I can resign. Fine. Do you want to put that in writing? Yeah. Can I start, dear George? He's much better. His pressure's up to 110. That's not for sale. Why not? Is it very precious? No. Very ordinary. Oh, that's much better. He's holding his own. Melai Kulo, daughter of a journalist, very influential man. She's got two arts degrees. Moved home twice in the last few days, but we'll find her. Doesn't seem to have been politically active, though her father was. Arrested for sedition and prison without trial. She escaped. Yes, to Amsterdam. That's where the bulk of the refugees seem to have congregated. The father died in prison. Minister in charge, Colonel Lin Fo, before the revolution. Revenge, not politics. Revenge for her father's death. Revenge for the death of her friends, which she links with Doyle. And on the loose. A cowley, find out where Colonel Lin Fo is staying now. And get Hogan at the ministry. Tell him I'm on my way to see him. Yes, sir. Any news on Doyle? No change so far. No change. Why, thanks. Come on, Ray, you've got to do it for yourself. Pure, all things are pure. Better than working on a lathe. Come on, Doyle, don't let them beat you. Room. Give me his mail, will you? 
자. 아, oh. you've been demoted to post boy. Reason to believe your life's in danger at this moment. Sir. Oh, come on, uh, tell me, Walken. I'm late for an engagement. May I? I shouldn't go to that engagement, sir. Huh? She knows the number of your room. Who? A student called Maylife. She's the daughter of Dr. Dr. Waller. That's right. Uh, she's a student. Uh, she is not in politics. Uh, she's not a terrorist. I think someone's made her one, sir. I shouldn't go to your appointment. I'd go to your room. You're preempting our meeting tomorrow, George. Well, this is what we'll be discussing then. Reviewing policy together. Filling you in totally. I don't follow. Well, it's a weird one, George. You see, they're not taking hostages, causing trouble. Now, the targets they're after are sort of their uh, own people. So what are you saying? We just let them kill whoever they want? No, I'm saying it's a new kind of situation. We have to clarify our attitude. We have one. To keep blood off the streets. To protect life from property. George, you're wise enough in world politics. Now, you know very well, the people who are in power over there now are the people we were trying to keep out. They don't like us very much. And we are anxious for their friendship. Well, we certainly don't want to make unnecessary enemies. And particularly ones who might trigger off another Cambodia. They tried to kill one of my men. Uh, well, I'm sure it won't happen again, George. Of course, it would have been altogether different if this um, Doyle of yours had died, yes, believe me. I think we're very lucky her aim was a little bit off. Although she doesn't quite seem to have the stomach to be an assassin. Uh, they felt obliged to fill me in. They? Her embassy. But you didn't feel obliged to fill me in? George, now, obviously I should have briefed you. I, I had no idea you'd do such a fast job putting all this together. Thank you. I hope you'll enjoy reading about this in tomorrow's papers. Uh, read about what, George? George? There's nothing to print. Our newspapers are fearless. They'll happily print rumor, hearsay, and you end up. Oh, the facts are, George, and nobody gives a toss about these blasted people. They care about Doyle, gunned down by an international terrorist, and an official spokesman who says, hands off, they won't do it again. Your man, George, is a faceless nothing to the people out there, and they care as little about him as they care about the two bombers who died. What are you going to do, George? Resign? No, I'm going to do what I conceive to be my duty. Yes, of course, and that's exactly what we want you to do. And that's why you got the job. Thanks. George, now what I'm saying is, and all I'm saying is, don't expect any help from us, not at least until we worked out a policy. Uh, just let the target sit back and wait for a bullet, yes? 37 to Alpha. Yes, Moody. Suspect appears to have located Lin Fo's whereabouts. Thank you. I'll be in touch. You know where Mail Eye is. What do you want us to do when we catch up with her? Well, that depends an awful lot, George, on whether or not you killed her. And off the record, I sincerely hope that won't happen. Or at least until we've worked out a policy. Exactly. Well, it seems that the young male eye has located Colonel Lin Fo's new hotel. But don't you worry about that. It also seems we got there first. Finish it. Kill me. Pity we couldn't have more on this stakeout, sir. Five's not really enough. It's better than four, buddy. Yeah. Three single women checked in today. Cases, no effect. No, nothing. She's been here all right, though. Go! That's a woman!
Oh, no, I'll get you an ambulance. Get more cars on the street. Oh, she won't get far. Girl in a de chevaux. There can't be too many of them around. You kill them. You kill yourselves. You want justice. You want revenge. Stupidity. You want to live and you kill. Stupidity. Diplomatic community. Yeah, there and here is damn it. Home soil. Okay. I'm not paid to make waves. Just want to take a last look at you. Before they spirit you away. Thank 
Thanks. Cowley. They've got her at the embassy. How bad is she? Hold it. Something's happening. I'll get back to you. Mr. Bodie, is it? Yes, Bodie. Your people will want to tie up the loose ends. She's dying. It does not matter where a person dies, but why? You may have her, Mr. Bodie. Wherever she dies, she will be a martyr. your friend? He'll make it. Not a relative, is she? I'll even know her. Hello, Rita. Hello, love. Now, how long it's been? Yeah. Keep track of over your bag and we'll have to charge you rent. Well, I sent my mate for it. You wouldn't give it to him. Well, it's the rules. Can't give away my customer's gear without the ticket. You never give me a ticket. I know you. I don't know him. Yeah, no. Been away, have you, love? Yeah, sort of. Glad to be back. Say that again. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you Friday. Mind how you go, love. All right. Bye, Dad. Well, how does it feel to be amongst the land of the living then, mate? Well, you were technically dead, you know. Well, now I've done it once, it'll be easier next time. <laughs> <laughs> 